and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be taking you through my camera collection. I was talking to a few bloggers recently on a press trip and they were really keen for me to film this video because they kind of wanted to know why I've got so many cameras and what I use them for. So basically, I'm going to run through all of my cameras. I think I've got five. One of them I'm obviously filming on, but um, yeah, I'll show you little clips of footage of how I use the cameras or photos just to show you sort of the results of the content that I can produce using them. So yeah, so number one, the GoPro Hero 4. Now I got this last year in summer. I'd seen Mika Francis do a lot of her festival YouTube videos using one of these and I fell in love with the... Re and I fell in love with how her videos looked and how sort of smooth the GoPro was. So yeah, so it's got really, really good stabilisation. I mainly use this for travel videos. So obviously last year I used it at all of the festivals that I went to. I'll pop in some clips of me at Secret Garden Party. And as you can see, like if you slow the content down on a video editing software, then it just looks so good. Um, so yeah, so really, really love this. I also use it for if I'm sort of traveling around, if I'm on the go and I don't want any sound because the sound on this is awful. All you can hear is wind. So I wouldn't necessarily advise using a GoPro for vlogging or any talking. It's kind of for sports and on the go stuff. So yeah, so I would advise putting music over your video. Um, and it's such a cute little size. It's so handy to just pop in your pocket, pop in your bag. It's really easy to keep getting out. That's why I love it as well. If I am on the go traveling, obviously I want to take in all the sights and everything around me. So I don't want to be lugging around a massive camera. So just taking something like this, because I can just quickly pop it out, press record, and I can look around myself as well, not into the camera. Another good thing about this is that it's got a really wide angle lens. You can change it so you can have it a little bit closer up, you can have medium or you can have quite far away. So it gets in quite a big portion of your surroundings. And yeah, it just looks really stunning for sort of, I don't know, if you're going to the Grand Canyon or something in near Vegas and you use this, it will get in like a massive part of the view. So yeah, so I absolutely love the GoPro. It retails around, oh, I'm not sure, I think I paid like £300 for it, but it's definitely worth the money. It takes a micro SD card and you can charge it via a USB, so I sometimes charge it via USB in my um, Apple charger or I use it on my computer. But yeah, love this. Number two. I've got the EOS 750D Canon camera, absolutely love this. I had an SLR years ago when I studied fashion and photography at university, um, had a Nikon then, and yeah, I just, I really wanted another, another one because I kept seeing lots of bloggers taking photos and they just looked amazing with the background blurred and I, and I kind of just wanted that, like I'd been shooting my outfit pictures on my Canon G7X, which was fine if it was against like a background, like if I was standing against a brick wall, but this camera literally has changed my life. It makes your photos look amazing. Like I could stand in the middle of a really crap street and just because the background's blurred, it looks so good. So I'm so glad I purchased this. I went to my local camera store, I think it's called the London Camera Exchange in Colchester, and the guy was really, really helpful, so he even put the lens on for me, so obviously I don't have, actually yeah, I've got the kit lens with this, uh, which is the normal, is it 18 to 50 or 55 millimetre, but this one is a 50 millimetre 50 millimeter lens, um, love it, like this is a lens you need if you want to blur the background, I was going to get a 40 millimetre one, because or 45 can't remember which one it was but he said that he advised me not to get it because it can make you look a bit bigger in pictures like your body so he said this one is the better one to go for um yeah this also does video i'm kind of learning how to use a video on it it's quite difficult the autofocus on this for video it just 
constantly is trying to focus on something. So I think it's a lot better if you use the manual focus, but obviously that's literally impossible to do. So I'm just trying to learn how to do that. I love how the screen also flicks out. I don't really record my videos on this camera. I probably should, sometimes I have actually, but I may mainly use a Canon G7X, which I'll talk about in a minute, just because it's just a lot easier, it's compact. Um, yeah, this has also got a flash built in got video but yeah I literally I don't take this lens off I leave it on obviously when you're shooting you need to be quite far away from your subject um yeah just absolutely love it it's changed my outfit pictures now and I feel like the quality of them is so much better so I'm glad I invested in this camera um yes yeah, so I'll pop in um some little pictures just so you can see Camera three, so that is my Canon G7X. Now, obviously I'm filming with it now so you can see the quality of the content. Um, absolutely love this camera because it's a compact SLR so it does everything that an SLR does, but it's just a handy little size, it's about that big, pops in your handbag. I got this camera because basically every blogger I knew had it um and the stabilization on it is really really good so like you can kind of move the camera like that really quickly but it's quite smooth and nothing really blurs which i'd been using my sony a5000 before for videos and i noticed that when i was using it for lookbooks and stuff it just it was just i wasn't crisp in the footage whereas the canon g7x i'm a lot more in focus and yeah i really really like the content that i produce However, I have sort of changed how I use the camera recently. I mainly use it now for on-the-go vlogging. I used to use it for my outfits and my videos for YouTube, as in like lookbook videos. I use it for just sitting down videos now like this. All my makeup tutorials is really good because it's actually really good. Um, it's got a zoom lens, so I can zoom in and it instantly blurs the background out, <clears throat> which obviously looks really high quality. Um, the camera, I got the Mark II, I got it last year, <clears throat> I wanted the normal G7X um, because it was cheaper but they discontinued it which was annoying but it's a really really popular camera so if you want to get your hands on it, I mean I had to wait about a month but it might be fine that, um, now when you buy it. It was about £550 so not too bad and considering I use it every day it was a great purchase. The only downside to it is that if you've got it you'll know that the lens at the front when it opens it's got like a shutter which opens up and mine's kind of become a little bit sticky so it doesn't open all the way so I have to physically push it open and sometimes I even have to close it myself which is annoying I should send it off but then I'll be cameraless so that's the downside the only thing is I did watch a YouTube video where I fix the lens and so it is a lot better than what it was before all you have to do is kind of just take the front cap off and then fiddle around and clean it and I cleaned it and it's a little bit better but it's still annoying um another downside as well I don't know if any of you if you've got this camera have this when I'm when I've got the camera in front of me and I'm looking at the viewfinder on the back of the screen it tilts like the camera's like still like this but the actual footage tilts it's really odd um but the footage when it comes out on my computer is straight it's really weird it's just the viewfinder spins it so I think I might have to get it looked at. Um, absolutely love how the screen flips up. It's really handy. Like I've got it flipped up now recording this video just so I can see where I am and I'm in the frame. Um, yeah, really, really good camera. The only, another downside is that the battery life probably doesn't last very long. So I'd advise getting two um, batteries for it just so you, if you are out and about, you can swap them and you've got two batteries for the last year for the day. Um, so yeah, so I mainly use the Canon G7X for sitting down videos, some Instagram shots, it's got Wi-Fi on the camera so you can instantly send the pictures to your phone, that's another good thing about the Canon 750D, that's got that as well, so that's really handy if I'm on the go and I want to take a snap, but post it on Instagram or Twitter. Um, yeah, that's mainly what I use the camera for now, camera 4. The DJI Osmo Plus. Now you're probably thinking it looks like a guitar. Um, it comes in this really cute case. I think that's really handy that it comes in a case. Just because it is a bit of an awkward 
um, shape the camera and also when you see it you'll see that it kind of spins so this is the camera if you've heard of Re Rebecca Spencer the photographer blogger photographer I met her recently and she had this camera and she showed me and I literally fell in love with it straight away so I had to buy it so thank you Rebecca um, yeah so basically you hook it up to your phone you pop your phone into this bit here it hooks up to your phone via the Wi-Fi and you download an app and your phone basically acts as the viewfinder then you unlock this bit here <clears throat> so it spins you unlock this little bit here so this this camera spins basically that's how it makes stabilization so smooth and your footage look so smooth because it kind of locks into place on your subject but when your subject moves it moves automatically like it's just amazing like I film all of my lookbooks on it now this is basically my lookbook camera um, it was about five six hundred pounds I got the Osmo Plus purely because you can zoom in and also the lady in the shop said that the closer you get to your subject the more like high quality and sharp the image looks whereas on the normal Osmo um, when you come close up to your subject it's not as crisp so that's purely why I got it because I knew that I'd be doing lots of close ups of like jewellery and accessories of my outfits um, yeah literally honestly this camera is so good I'll pop a bit of footage in um, it's even got a little joystick here so you can move the head up and down it takes a micro SD card which pops in the side and yeah it's literally such a good camera and yeah it's handy to carry around obviously it is a bit of an annoying side you have to take you'd have your handbag obviously and then you'd have this but I am so glad I invested in it because it's just made my lookbooks look great and just a lot more high quality um, also it films really really good slow-mo so it films in 4k I think and if you film just normally obviously you can slow it down on the computer but I love filming in slow-mo and then it's already done for you um, and it just looks really really good so yeah so I filmed my Valentine's lookbook on that and my New York lookbook so I'll pop links below if you want to see the full um, videos I'm going to be filming my festival lookbook on this as well so watch out for that number five the DJI Phantom 4 drone literally so cool i kept seeing videos of people using drones and i've watched loads of youtube videos i've wanted one for so long now and i just bought one recently it was a thousand pounds um so it's quite a bit of money but i wanted to invest in a really good one because it's i just think it's not it's not worth it otherwise you can get drones without the camera attachment and you can attach your gopro on it for example but i wanted one that's already got a camera installed um i'll open it up and i'll show you so it is quite a big box which is probably a downfall if you want to take it traveling but it doesn't bother me i preferred this one over the maverick purely because the footage was a lot crisper and also the maverick can't really handle wind as well as the phantom 4 so when you open it up it's quite heavy but this is what it looks like and then you attach the propellers on which are kept in this little bag so they just clip in and then you also get a controller which I will show you this is the controller it's quite big and this bit flips out and you can pop an iPad or your phone in there and that acts as a viewfinder and then you can control where the drone goes um, it is a little bit tricky to use so there is beginner mode on it which I used first of all I think it only goes up like 30 meters but actually that's quite high um, yeah I, I really really love it like I've recently used it in a video 
that I did with Hyundai, so I'll pop a link below if you're interested in that. Um, I just love the aerial shots it gets, and I'm going to use it for my festival lookbook as well. The downfall is that the battery doesn't last that long. I think it's about 20 minutes. On the Osmo Plus, it lasts about an hour, hour and a half, so that's quite good, but... Yeah, this one doesn't last that long, so when I record my videos, I try and get it up, record all the footage, drone footage, and then I bring it down, and then that's it, and then I use other cameras to finish it off. Um, yeah, I purely got it because of lookbooks. I want to try and do a, a few more lookbooks now this year, um, and also travel. The only downside to travel is that some countries have laws with the drones i'm going to la soon though and i'm going to take it with me um because i want to film some stuff out there so i think you can just i think you can just apply for a license i'm going to do that but yeah i i mainly fell in love with this as well zoe london uses it in her lookbooks and she uses it so well it looks so good so that's kind of where i got my inspiration from and then picking the drone obviously I just watched a ton of YouTube videos just to make sure it was the right one that I wanted so yeah so a little bit expensive but I'm glad I got it and yeah it's definitely definitely worth it if if you kind of want to get some cool different shots for your lookbook videos or any travel videos I'm trying to fit back in the box now it's good that it comes in this carry case um obviously i know it is on the big side but it's definitely worth having somewhere safe to secure it because there's lots of different parts so yeah there we go so they are all of my cameras really um obviously i use my iphone for a few different snaps and i also use the google pixel that's got a really really good camera um for like on the go instagram snaps or from an event or something and i just want to post on social rather than using the g7x and transferring um yeah use my phones um but yeah that they're they were all my cameras and obviously it's annoying having five because i mean i'd love to just have one but you'll never ever find one camera that does everything i've kind of learned as i've progressed in blogging what i want a camera for and what i need a camera for and i feel like i've pretty much got all the cameras that i need now the i probably might buy another camera soon but that's purely because the canon g7x is just it can't cope with daily vlogging i want to find a camera that can just cope with getting it in and out of my bag turn it on and off all the time um but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll pop all links below if you're interested in shopping any of the cameras peace out